Welcome to the old Bora play City Skylines 2. We are playing extremely slow, trying to plan out for a big city. And I have neglected to connect this little road here. And since I'm here, I guess I can put this little thing in here in a little park, maybe. And elementary schools. Let's just see here real quickly. High school, college, elementary. We're about at capacity here. This is industrial. And just to get a little school going because we're gonna build a loop and it's so exciting that we're at that point. Um, We're going to have to leave the game. Let's put the extension on. And this one in the park. We're going to have to leave the game hanging a bit to get the loop in. And I was going to fix this. I'm not quite liking that. I'm trying to get my brain wrapped around the loop here. Let's just do that. Postal sorting facility. And so to put in the loop, we're going to need this square here. Let's see. We're going to need this one and this one and these. This is buildable area. This one. These are buildable areas. And we're going to need those to put the other end of the loop in there. And we've got more tiles, so we're going to be building with those tiles. The loop is going to take the traffic off the inside of the city and around to the loop. We have to decide where we're going to pick the other tiles to build with. And we need lots of space, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hoping we're going to be able to get our loop right around in through here and right out over here. I've thought about taking the loop over the river because all of this space is not going to be able to be used. And we're going to take this one because this, no, let's just see. This is a main um, road through the city at this point. This is another. So 
So we're locked in. We are locked in. And now this first part of the loop here, um, I'm going to cut off our electricity, I think. Not quite for sure how this is working, but we're going to pause and take these out to put our loop in. Uh-oh. We're going to have trouble with this train line here. Let's see. Let's see. Intersections. Let's see about this one. This one's too big. This one. This is for medium capacity three-way hybrid interchange with local connection to road. It's not going to fit. It's going to have to be this one. Slope too steep. I'm going to have to raise those off ramps over the rail line. These little off ramps are going to have to come over the rail line. And unfortunately, this is a very long segment. And we can't delete that one or this one. So let's see. Rail. Rail. Exceeds the city limits. Curve too tight. We're going to have to drop this down. this a curve I guess exceeds the city limits maybe I'm gonna have to create one tiny little segment here I've got myself into a sticky wicket here. Overlapping items. That will allow me to do it. to stretch it all the way to there and then bring this up whoops that was not a curve could be a little wonky here but we're going to get this straightened out It's just going to be a little wonky until we get these other squares over here. And now about getting these over. It's this. And we're going to connect our electricity first. 
Now we're going to connect it afterwards. We need the curve tool. Let's drop this down a bit. See how high we are. Let's drop this down even lower. We don't want to be that high above the rail. We need to take this across. Wish you could hit the home key. And now this one just drops back down and connects. Not like that. It's a curve. Okay. And then this one curves off of here. Let's see. Try to make it look semi-decent. Drop this down. Okay. Now we connect up our electricity. Make sure it's flowing correctly. Overlapping items. Let's see if we can bring this up. Bring it up one. Drop it back down. Connect. And we need to make sure it's flowing. I guess we have to unpause. Okay. Yeah, this is a little wonky here. This rail line's a little wonky. Can all be fixed over time. Now, before we think about this, we're gonna put in the other interchange and this is a big project. This loop is a big project. Got to think about it. And we're going to unzone just do this these are gonna have to come out and let me think about probably these here I can put them back in and just Hold down on the right mouse button and touch over them all. Left mouse button. I did not dezone. Okay, that's that I dezoned the wrong thing. Still got some zoning in here.
I like that feature. And here's our outside connection. This is where we're going to put in a big interchange. This is the clover leaf. Let's see what we have here. Four level stack. That is too big. We would have to zone out too much of the city for that. It's going to have to be this one. And this is Alnwick. I wonder how we keep it Alnwick. I wonder how much of the game's mechanics that changes. And so, you want this to line up with your highway up there and bring those, you see the two black arrows. Bring it off as far as you can before you go out the city limits because the cars spawn off the map and you'll see them turn around there on that ramp. That's it. And we see the little pillars there. But I can live with that. It's part of the game. And we want to connect this up um, to get these, to get this highway functioning again. This is three. Overlapping items. Do I still have this paged up? Okay. Still got my curve tool on, but if you click twice, you'll connect it. And, hmm. Yeah, a lot more is going to have to come out than I had imagined. It's alright. We're going to remove these people and we're probably going to have to remove this I don't know what this is this is high density residential I guess mid density We missed a few. Yeah, I want to make sure that this has got people coming in and going out. It's a little wonky there. Here comes a trash truck. That's probably a good enough sign. 
Now this is the tricky part. I'm going to put another one of these. Let's see what those that city name was. Did it stay Alnwick? Uh, it's going to East Mountain. Who knows what kind of crazy mechanics are going to get. Uh, this is uh, Bardney. I like East Mountain better, actually. And we're going to take this back to about there. And this is four lane coming through the city. Four lane. We're going to extend this out just a bit. Might as well go ahead and take it all the way out. We're going to need all that buildable space. And this is the... Where we're going to need the parallel road tool. And our highway is going to be fairly close to... The citizens, but I think we'll be alright. Highway... Three lane, parallel. And we're going to elevate this above. One, two, three, four, five. We're at the very bottom of the elevation step there. This little puppy here. And we'll put our uh, pillars here. We got the wrong kind of uh, curve on. We want these like this. We're going to put our pillars here. Now this is a little valley through here. We could keep this elevated so that we can easily bring those streets across underneath this and not have to um, dinker with the highway. But this is this is not high enough. We're going to bring this up just a bit more, maybe to there. And then take it across at a 180 degree angle. And we're getting down into, we're going to elevate this again. Do this. I don't want it to be too high. It's not going to look right. This is a valley here. Want that 180 degree angle on your left. See how it kind of snapped? Bring it down. Hopefully we can get our streets underneath here. And bring these across. And we're going to want to have that other interchange in before we connect these up. And I guess we're just going to use the same one. 
Let me go back a few more here. And this, let's just see. Now, if we bring this highway up, we want this to be about here. Actually, in order to curve this around to get off into the buildable area, we're going to have to move this to the left a bit. Just think about this for a second. Do we want to do that? It's okay. We can always straighten it out when we buy those squares. We could just make a really tight curve so we don't have to rebuild this. We'll make a really tight curve so we don't have to rebuild. And what city name did we get? Haddon. Okay, we got Haddon. Did we get the little pillars? It's a little strange, but it's all right. And how high is this? Can we get a street underneath? Let's just see. I'm curious to know. That's a two lane on the wrong kind of road there. And we got lucky. And I think we did okay on this hill issue. This is a little high here, but at this early stage of learning the road tools, I'm just going to be happy with what I can do. This is not elevated here. So, in order to build over into here, these, you can't cut through these anyway, so we're going to bring it back down. We're going to bring this back down after this little road here. And hopefully those are high enough. We want to stretch that out quite a ways before we get it down to ground level. That's underground there. We might use this complicated curve tool. To curve around. Connect those up. I really wanted this to be down to ground level there for some reason. It's okay, we'll just take it out. For sure if we can get those streets underneath this. Let's see if we can.
yeah, that's how we want to do this. And this is just a, uh, a deep valley between these and the other one. And so we'll connect this up and get this loop working in the next session. Thanks for watching the old boar play City Skylines 2. Take care now.